Hey guys, it's Visual Moss here, and today I'm going to be going shopping for my home. So I've been here for about the past almost two months, and we have no decorations. We finished all of our furniture pretty much. There's just one piece of furniture that we haven't had any success with getting yet, which is a dresser. But we have pretty much all the furniture that we plan on getting that we need, which I will show later on. But we have no decorations and like no extra little stuff, so that's what I'm going shopping for today. So I've also decided that I'm going to go ahead and do each room at a time. Um, today I'm starting on the living room. So once the living room's finished, I'm going to move on to a different room. I kind of just want to take one room at a time because I'm pretty much starting from scratch. And it would just make things like a lot easier and more simple for me. So today we're working on the living room and you guys get to come along with me on the shopping trip just to see and like my thought process of like getting this stuff. You'll see where I end up putting it and how it all looks afterwards. So yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Get dressed. Fucking Get dressed. Uh, Good job, Normie. Good girl. Oh, it's on the side. <laughs> it's kind of cold today. Yeah, it Should is. Come. Oops. You're leaving me. Come back here. There you go. All right, stay there. I'll put this on you. Good job. Plots. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Getting it all over. Oh my goodness. Get into it. <laughs> oh my god. That's really cute. I like the like wicker of it. I like the knitting on that. Oh, this one says love something. Love grows, that's cute. <laughs> that is really cute, actually. I mean, it is a living room. Decoration. You can get this one. Yeah, let me just put this on a coffee table. <laughs> it's so cute, though. Oh, this is cute. It says dog mom, but where the heck would Aww. I put this? That'd be cute for like a desk. That's true. I don't have a desk, though, so. Ooh, this is nice. A desk organizer. Oh, these baskets are nice. Um, I'm guessing. I would say 49. You're saying 49? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say 35. What's your guess for me? <laughs> oh, 30. I was closer. <laughs> yeah. That's cute though. That is. It's actually worth it. It's like a wheelie. Or it has like it's the same price as that one, and that one. I would totally get that for the bedroom. Those people that have like beach themed houses. Oh my god, these are really pretty. Like, look how pretty that is. I want this so bad. I want this so bad. It has the moon phases on it? I want this so bad. I'm getting it. has the moon phases on it? It's seven bucks. That's really cute, but I don't know where I would put it. <laughs> oh. Buy your bed? <laughs> do you I don't think I'd use it as a clock, though. I this really is a cute clock. It. it says TikTok. But should I get two or one? This one's a little, eh. Yeah. What do we do hanging on the it's wall? It's very heavy, too. Oh my god, these globes, though. These are pretty. Oh my god, I want this so bad. Can you sit? <gasps> but no. Ooh, I don't you need it. Must resist. What are these? Plan? Those were really cute to hang up. 
Are they outdoors? Oh, I found a, a gigantic one. Oh, they're outdoor. They're solar uh, powered. Oh. That's really cool looking. I, mean, I, hate the I don't know why my camera's having a heyday and not being able to focus on anything. <laughs> I don't like this place. I want everything. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm going to come by the like love life, love what? Love leave. What is the Live, sign? laugh, love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. So one of the main things that are on my list for today is throw pillows for the couch. And I'm looking at these throw pillows. I've seen kind of some that I like. My couch is like a darker gray color, almost like a bluish kind of gray. So I was looking at these throw pillows. Like this one's really cute right here. This one is the same, but it has like a little bit of dark blue, which is kind of nice. But this one's black, which I like a lot. but I'm not really seeing any throw pillows that are really catching my eye. These look like they're mostly for a bedroom, not really a couch. This one's really cute. Oh, that one's cute too. So this one's really cute. Oh, I like this one a lot. Do you see this throw pillow? This one's really cute. Okay. And then they have some paintings or wall art. Ooh, this wall art is really pretty. Definitely want to get some wall art for the living room, but that's not my main focus today. But if I find something I like, I'll definitely get it. That? Yeah. Oh, that does feel really nice. That's cute too. Is that a wreath? Yeah, I thought about getting it, but... Do you see this? Okay, wait. Do you see this wall set? It is cute. That is really oh, nice. this one. You wanted to make a gallery. Oh, yeah, you can it, put your it own... It comes with three. You can put your own pictures yeah. in there? That is kind of nice. The only thing, though, is I I'll probably... If I did a gallery, gallery geez, mm -hmm. I would probably do, like, different size picture frames. Yeah, I would have to get, like, one of each. Because they have this one, they have the smaller version, the big one. I think they're from the same brand. Yeah, it looks like it. I really like these these two pictures though. Yeah, Does it come with pretty. it comes with two? I like this one. I just don't like the frame really. That is cute. Yeah. I think I like the thing behind it. It's 30. This painting back here. <gasps> wait a minute. That would probably go well. I need to I need to get it. Hold on. <laughs> back up thank you okay this is this is the painting I was talking about right here I have no clue but the frame do you see the frame it like literally would match my, my furniture it's 40 I think that's not bad for how big it is though it's literally like almost as tall as me I think that would look nice in the dining room it would it would look very good anywhere in your house I'm like yeah, it really does. Like, like the col the coloring and then the the frame. And that one we go in my let's get, let's get it. No, <laughs> <laughs> didn't come to spend my money. Even though I'm already doing it. What is, what is, this is really cute too. It's the I'm beach. Like anything besides what I already bought. I'm like really tempted to get this, but if I was, we would need to get a cart because I ain't carrying it around. I I really want a cart. I know I we haven't been able to find a cart, but I swear I'm gonna get that. This is a throw blanket. This is really pretty. It has little tassels at the bottom. I like that a lot. It's so soft too. It would do so well with the painting that you that I picked out. Yeah, I know. It really would. I feel like it's fine. Definitely has to be something going on. Either signs or fate or whatever. <laughs> There's all the dog stuff that they sell at TJ Maxx, but we're gonna we're gonna go to Petco today. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, they have like the Happy Holidays. Look at these little jars for Christmas. You can open them and put treats in them. That's so cute. Live, love, wolf. 
kind of expensive. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's made from Ugg. <laughs> I want it. I don't get the whole <laughs> Oh, this throw, throw blanket's kind of nice, but it feels a little weird. I mean, the throw blanket, you're not really supposed to. Well, I need to, be, I need to be comfy in my throw blankets. Like these. Oh my goodness. I would love to have that. Oh, this gray one's really nice. Oh my god, this one's like extra soft. I still really like that throw blanket that I found. Oh my god, this blue is really pretty. I like this yellow too, actually. Or this. It looks red on camera, but it's like more of an orangish. Oh, we have Christmassy throw blankets. Oh, look at that. It has dogs on it. That's so cute. And no one goes below your house. Oh. Oh, look at the, snow the snowflake ones. That's cute. Why? Because I have dogs? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's the only reason why I would go go with my house. I will be that type of person. <laughs> All right, so we just got done in TJ Maxx and I literally didn't really find anything except for that painting, but I want to look at other places because wall art is not like the plan for today. Um, I just basically said that if I found anything I liked that I was going to end up getting it, but um, since I really didn't find anything else in this TJ Maxx, I didn't really feel like it was like worth it to get that painting, but if you know I don't find anything else I also really like, then I'll come back for that painting later on. And then we also walked over to, there's a Petco back here. We walked there because I'm really trying to get a dog bed today. Um, I don't have any dog beds for my dogs. So we walked into Petco, didn't find anything that was interesting there for dog beds. So <sighs> we're going good. <laughs> it's going great. Now we're on our way to Home Depot. So um, we're mostly going to be going there to look for a rug. Okay, so here's the rugs at Home Depot. I can't really talk that much because they're they're playing copyrighted music, and I don't want to I don't want to get copyrighted. But so far, the only rugs that I've liked is that one. But it's like too big. I don't need that big of a rug, and they're really overpriced. <laughs> so I haven't really had any luck here. But this rug's really nice too. Okay, so the music stopped finally. But this rug is really nice, but I think it has a stain there. I'm not sure if that's part of the rug or if that's like a stain. But this one feels really nice and it's got cute little tassels at the end of it. And it's actually the same price as a different rug that I was looking at somewhere else. So that could definitely be a possibility right there. I am worried about getting a um, white rug because of the dogs. But I have a gray couch and like all of my furniture is like darker on the darker side and I don't really want to stick to like all dark stuff. So I'm not completely sure. Um, I really want to get like a lighter rug. There's actually this one. This one's really nice. It's got like all the colors in my house. Literally it's got the beige for like the wood that's in my house, the black for all the furniture. And then it still has the white lighter color. Um, and it even has gray. It's a lighter gray than my couch, but it's still like a gray but it's literally so big. I, I don't need a rug this big. It's like too big, so that's the problem. But I really do like that one that I saw over there. So I'm not completely sure today if this place is gonna be where I get my rug or if I wanna to stick to the original one that I saw first. I know, it's like, it's so hot. It's so hot in here. It's so hot in here, like I'm, I'm turning red. Yeah. <laughs> also, we walked in here and we saw a German Shepherd. It was really cute, it was really yeah, sweet, but completely like the leash was just hanging off of its collar and its owner was nowhere to be found at all like how it started following me and storm <laughs> and luckily i don't think that if it like caught up to us it would do anything i think it looked friendly but it was still old nice boy yeah but he was it was still a scary situation because like the owner was literally nowhere to be found and last minute after we like it was following us for like a good minute the owner like came and like started calling the dog and it came back which was nice but if you come to a pet friendly place like hold your dog's leash <laughs> don't just let it roam around but we did good huh we did good normans i was looking at this rug over here i can't see like what it really looks like but this one right here this one's 99. That is? No, I like it. Oh, is that it right there? I like it a lot. Is this it right here? Oh, yeah. that is really pretty. That's very pretty. Good girl. 
Yodi Yodi. You can bring me. You can bring me. Thank you. Good job. So we got the rug. We mushed it in the car. <laughs> Yep. Good thing I have a hatchback because otherwise I don't think I'd be able to fit this in the car. Storm's sitting in this one seat instead of the trunk now. Oh, okay. Good night. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to stop this video for a minute to talk about something important. We all know that 2020 sucked. Can't deny it. It was a really bad year. So let's make 2021 better by helping others who are in need. What I mean is every month I'm going to be featuring a fund specifically from the service dog community, whether it be service dog prospect, vet bills, anything that they really need help with. What I'm also going to be doing is that every month, whatever profit I make from merch, I'm also going to be donating towards these funds. So I'm going to be donating profit from my merch towards these funds, and they're also going to have a spotlight on my channel for an entire month. You're going to find these funds and the links to them in the community tab on my channel each month. So keep checking on that for each donation. If you don't want to donate directly, you can obviously go and purchase my merch. Anything, I have hoodies, t-shirts, tank tops, phone cases, socks. It's wild. And obviously the profit that I make from that will go towards the funds as well, so that's also helping in a way. I am also currently working on new designs for the merch, so I'll be looking out for new things coming out as well. And yeah, that's just some ways you can help. So like I said, all these funds are gonna be featured in the community tab on my channel, but since this is a new like idea, I decided that I was gonna make a clip and talk about it in this vlog. And I'm also gonna be talking about this month's fun in this vlog. But in future vlogs, I won't be talking about the future fun. So the fun that I decided to do for the month of January of this year is a good friend of mine's. Her name is Paige. This fun is specifically for her prospects. Sadly, her dog from last year, who was her service dog, passed away from unknown reasons. And ever since, she's been having a hard time without a service dog and has really been trying to save up money for a new puppy or prospect to be her next service dog. She created a PayPal pool quite a while ago and I've decided that I was gonna start this month off with hers. So I will be featuring it in the community tab, but also the link for it will be down in the description. Honestly, if everyone who is currently watching this video right now, if you all go donate $1, she would pretty much just make her goal right there. It's just that easy, just all go donate $1. That's all it takes, just $1. It also just makes you feel really good about yourself. I mean, that's just a plus. Helping others out just makes you feel good. And you know, everyone wants to feel good, so. Her fund will be down in the description and I'm also gonna be featuring it in the community tab, like I said as well. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. Just go ahead and check out the community tab every month for a new fund. If you want, go ahead and donate just a dollar. It, it helps out a few bucks or you can also purchase my merch because like I said all the funds are going to go towards them as well. If you have a fund that you want to be featured for one of the months of this year go ahead and dm me on instagram or send me an email. My email is always on the about tab on my channel. So yeah um let's get back into the video. <laughs> TJ Maxx and I've already found something that I'm definitely getting so I have a coffee table that has like two layers it has the top of the coffee table and then it has a little shelving area at the bottom and I was really thinking of getting baskets like this to put underneath those and like store stuff in or like put like throw blankets in it so I found these at TJ Maxx and they're really really cute I like them a lot and I think they would look really nice as well um, they have other baskets like up here and stuff, but I really like these like wooden wicker ones. Um, I was kind of thinking of either getting circular ones or the square ones, and I think the square ones, if I got two square ones, they would look a lot better. So I'm definitely going to get these. I'm just trying to find um, two that are like in good condition because like this one right here is kind of like coming apart a little bit.
you bring me your leash? Bring me. Bring me. Thank you. Good girl. So another thing that was on my list was to get coasters for the coffee table because we've just been using napkins as coasters and it's just been not ideal. Well, I found these at TJ Maxx and they're really cute actually. They're wood and they're just very simple, very light. And my coffee table is wood. It's a different kind of wood than this, but I don't think it would really stand out. I think they would look fine, honestly. So I'm thinking about getting these. They're um, about $6, yeah. So they're really nice. So I'm at the throw pillow section and I actually found some ones that I like. They have this design right here that's really, really cute. And I just got two of those for each side of the couch. And then for like a little accent one, I found this little gray one and I think it will look really nice. So I got two of those. And then I found this throw blanket that's like a knitting and it's actually really soft. So I'm gonna get that as well because it's pretty cute. And we're at Target by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention that we were at Target. Um, so we, we went from TJ Maxx to Target, Target now and that's where we are. Um, and that's where I'm looking at. So yeah, I found my throw pillows and throw blanket. So we're making some good progress here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm at the lamps <laughs> because that was another thing that I really wanted to get for the living room um, to not have the main light on all the time, especially at night. And there's this lamp that I actually really like. The only thing I don't like about it is the cover. It's like squarish, but it has wood down here. Obviously this one's really messed up, but it has wood and I have a lot of wood accent and this is black metal, so it would really match a lot of the, the living room. So I'm really thinking of that one. They have a lot of little ones over here. I really liked this one too, because it had shelving, but this one's more expensive. So we'll look, double check over here. There's not really anything over there. And then they have these ones over here, like this one, that's kind of cool. And it's black, but I'm not quite sure. There we go. Okay, it's really blurry, but it's from Project 62. Here it is. And nothing like it. Honestly, making some great progress here. I gotta say, this is great. I mean, my list is almost done. And if I don't finish the list today, that's perfectly fine. Let me go and get now. <laughs> so I'm back home now for the night. I actually didn't get finished with everything that I wanted to get. Um, so I'm gonna have, end up having to go to a different day. But I got a decent amount and I'm not ready to show the living room yet until I get it completely finished how I want it. So obviously stay tuned to the rest of the video for that. But real quick, I wanted to show that I got these. Um, the reason I didn't record getting these was because I got them yesterday and I actually picked them up at our local PX that's on base. So um, they're crate covers for 42 inch crates because I have two 42 inch crates for both of the dogs. And the reason I got these was because I don't really like the look of them because I actually have the crates in the living room um, and they're just like there. And I feel like these would be nice to put over them to kind of like hide them a little bit better. They're not just there. You don't just see the wires in them. I just feel like it would look better. So I got these two to cover them and I'm actually gonna put them on there tonight. So I wanted to show another thing that I added onto the living room for the crates because like I said, my crates are in the living room, so. So here is my crates after I put the cover on them. This is my crate space. Um, it's just a little area behind my couch because once we had set our couch to be straight across from where the TV was gonna be, because we have to set our TV in a certain spot since the outlets, um, we had this space here and I really wanted to put the crates somewhere where they were gonna be like not really seen but still in an important area. So you actually can't see these crates like at all when you first walk into the living room and there's a lot of people who don't even know that they're here. So I was like, that's great. And there's still enough room to have a little walkway right here. So if I need to get to this crate, I can get to that crate. If I need to get this one, I can get to that one. It's a little tight, but they're easily like moved. I can just move or like push this one out to clean around that one or whatever. These are the crate covers. Um, I actually like them a lot. Um, I don't really like the stripe there, but it's not that big of a deal. They're actually really nice. They have the top here, 
that I placed on top because or also cover the side doors because I'm using the side doors on the crates. But I know it also looks a little funny on the top, especially when the light shines on it. But I actually plan on getting a wood piece that is the exact measurements as these two crates put together. And it's literally just going to be a wood piece that goes on top of the crates and it's going to create more uh, tabletop space that I'm going to put decor decorative things on. And if anyone is sitting on this side of the couch, they can just turn over and place their drinks there. I mean, there's also the coffee table, but um, it's just going to be another like tabletop space. So it's actually going to hide the crates a lot more too. Um, so I thought that the, the crate cover would do a nice touch along with the tabletop, but I really like the way these crates look a lot. And yeah, come here, Storm. Stormy, come here. Come here, Stormy. Go your crate. How do you like it? It's so dark in there. I can't see you now. <laughs> I can't see you in there. You like that? Oh, Cloud, you want to try it out? Let me open your crate door. Back up. You want to try it out, Cloudy B? Go ahead. Go crate. Come on. Come on, Cloud. Go crate. You're moseying along. Go ahead. That's how she always goes in the crate. Like, she's so slow about it. You like how dark it is in there? It's so dark. <laughs> you can't see anything around you anymore. Hi, Narmi. See, she's like, night night. It's night night time. You like it? It's so dark in there. You can't see anything. Okay guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of shopping with me and getting decorations for my home. I'm just waiting for a few more things. I actually ordered a few things online, waiting for those to come and then I can get to actually decorating my house and well, my living room specifically. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Look out for the decorating video and I'll see you guys in the next one later.